What is it? Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Typical Imperial rot. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land, know its people. You're from Syracuse. I'm so glad Vittoria and Asgir chose a public reception. That way the entire city can share in their holy bond. I know those troubles. Oh, did you miss the ceremony? It was rather quick, actually. The couple seemed more concerned with their reception. Why, it's treason! Oh, yes. Presiding over the union of two lovers is one of my greatest responsibilities. It helps that Asgir and Vittoria truly care for each other. Blessed are those who worship, for they know true grace. Them to preserve our own way of life. Soon you will all see bad. My point what you here today may well save your lives. I'm just here to provide protection for His Eminence's cousin. Please, enjoy yourself. Oh, did you miss the ceremony? It was rather quick, actually. The couple seemed more concerned with their reception. Victoria did pretty well for herself, marrying that husband. Not a bad What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm... I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness... for me. Oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day, please. Eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. Please, enjoy yourself. To think my little boy is married, and to an Imperial, oh, they grow up so fast. Oh, why? Why certainly. I keep telling myself I'm not losing a son, I'm gaining an Imperial. Daughter. An Imperial daughter. Talos preserve you. I still think my boy should have had a traditional Nord wedding. Outside, my in nephew, the cool the mountain air. Too busy to attend the wedding of his beloved cousin. We won't stand for this slight, I assure you. A woman could ask for. This wedding is boring. I wish they had jugglers. Not really. It's just a bunch of elders standing around, looking important. I wish something exciting would happen. Sure, whatever you say. Bye.
another quiet day, I hope. Go fiddling with any locks around here, we're going to have a real problem. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Unfortunately, in your zeal, you failed to eliminate Vici while she addressed her guests as directed. I'm sorry, but your bonus is forfeit. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. As I said, go speak with Gabriella. She's been assisting me with your next contract. This Emperor business? Well, it does involve everyone. a suicide mission, Astrid said as much. Yet here you stand, hale and hearty. You give me too much credit. For how could I fail? I am, after all, just a little girl. What threat could I possibly pose? <laughs> You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? There are, indeed. Three, to be exact. There's Dekas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandrew Joe, a traveling caravanner. And Honoriath, a hunter. He's an Argonian layabout. Likes to scavenge shipwrecks. My guess is he'll run if threatened. Or swim, if given the chance. He's an accomplished wizard. And locating him may be challenging as he travels with the caravans. The wood elf may run a stall in the city, but he retreats to the plains outside Whiterun to hunt. Kill him there and no one will bear witness. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. 
You are to slay the commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Arculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the Commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her Keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. something.
Get away from me. Hmm. You go find your own wreck. This one's mine. You'll have to catch me first.
I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Take a look. All right, then.
gain out of here. Divine smile on you, friend. I work for Bellathorpe at the General Goods Store. Come and see my selection of the finest quality meats. You're making me nervous. Is there something you need? Well now, you are a strange one. You remind me a bit of myself when I'm stalking a deer. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? What am I saying? Find your presence. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. But even the Yar's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Poor bastard's better off. Damn.
You must be talking about the caravan job. I'm just trying to imagine you hiding inside the body of a man and bloody. You brain. smell like dead cat. Can I assume Marandru Joe has been taken care of? There is more knowledge. Ah! Well done, well done. Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. Takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. But then, that's half the fun, isn't it? Here's your payment. Well earned indeed. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents. Especially near water. In any event, nice work. Here's your payment. Ah! So the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted, hmm? Your payment, my friend. Well done. Just one right now, actually. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant in Fort Greymoor. She's a maid, old and feeble. But with this contract, it's much more a matter of where than who. Your political affairs are your own, but any allegiance you may have in the ongoing war could very well affect your access to Fort Greymoor. Killing Gaius Morrow in a city will be challenging because of all the guards, but fights, even murder, are fairly common. Killing him secretly will certainly make things easier on you. But if there are witnesses, so be it. Happy hunting! What? You think me too old? Too feeble? Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Ah, you're back. It was good to fight alongside you. I'm sure people won't be forgetting that wedding anytime soon, hmm? Astrid had me investigate the Penitus Oculatus. Their members are highly trained, effective warriors. Be on your guard, brother. Kill well and often. Ah, you must mean my little adventure off the ship. It's the part with the severed head I find most impressive. My compliments. Let that be a lesson to you, young pups. There is no challenge that magic cannot overcome. Boom, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. So, is it true? Oh, you mean in that uh, manor house during the thunderstorm? <laughs> uh, what can I say? It happened just like you heard. It was a suicide mission. Astrid said as much. There is more knowledge in me than in two of you pups put together. Hello, Tidbit. Brother?
cousin of the Emperor was murdered, in solitude, at her own damn wedding. Not a chance would have let that happen here. Who did you have to kill to get that blade? 